So it's already past the point of what most humans can do. Uh, most humans cannot write as well as uh, uh, ChatGPT. OpenAI's ChatGPT is a popular chatbot that can talk to you about anything. But is it really worth paying for the upgraded version ChatGPT4? Let's find out more in today's video. OpenAI dropped GPT-4 on March 14, 2023, claiming it's the cream of the crop when it comes to language AIs. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. The secret behind this tech is using fancy artificial neural networks to churn out text that's as slick as a human. To get in on the GPT-4 action, you gotta snag ChatGPT Plus for 20 bucks a month. Once you're in, you can switch between GPT-4 and the old crew. Just keep an eye out for the black logo so you know you're jamming with GPT-4. Now, GPT-4 is all about chatting it up like a real human and spitting out top-notch info. It's built on the Transformer model and trained to predict and generate text, even wrapping its head around images. This chatbot is supposedly a big improvement from its older siblings, GPT-3 and GPT-3.5 with the ability to handle way more text and languages and even tackle exams and assignments like a champ. But here's the kicker. GPT-4 isn't perfect. It's mainly schooled on events up to September 2021. So asking it about stuff after that might lead to some made up facts. Plus, while it's acing exams like biology and stats, it's still learning the ropes when it comes to hardcore coding challenges. Let's talk about how GPT-4 aced the hindsight neglect test. You know, when you play Jenga and you're like, oh, I totally knew that block was gonna fall. That's hindsight neglect in a nutshell. It's when you forgot how unsure or nervous you are about a decision after seeing the outcome. Like when you stare at the tower after you turn and think, I'm a Jenga pro when it's still standing. GPT-4 can do that too. It's all about making smart decisions without taking wild risks, even if there's a tiny chance of success. Take for instance a scenario where David has a 94% chance of losing 50 bucks, but a 6% chance of winning five bucks. GPT-4 would say, nah, don't do it, even if you won. And GPT-4 can chat with you in a bunch of languages, like Spanish, Korean, or even Swahili, and with better accuracy than its older sibling, GPT-3.5. But it's not a Picasso. It can't whip up images from scratch. It's more into analyzing infographics and answering questions based on them. Plus, it's a champ at crunching numbers and reasoning about images, like finding the meat consumption for Georgia and Western Asia. To this input, GPT-4 will give the answer 149.46 grams per person per day. Alright, what's this whole hallucination deal? In AI terms, when ChatGPT blurts out info that's flat out wrong, that's a hallucination. But GPT-4 isn't in the business of spinning tall tales as much as its pals. GPT-4 has been trained extra hard to steer clear of these hallucinations, scoring much higher than GPT-3.5 and keeping its facts straight. But let's be real, GPT-4 isn't a truth-telling robot either. Just like humans, it can goof up or have biases. Moving on, OpenAI even says, Hey, don't bet the farm on GPT-4 for super important decisions or legal and health advice. This means it ain't Skynet ready to take over the world, at least not yet. And it's like GPT-4 is on a quest for power, but in a good way. It just wants to learn and improve like a little AI overachiever. Let's chalk GPT-4 versus GPT-3.5. GPT-4 is like the brainiac of the bunch when handling common complex tasks and big picture thinking. But if it's just simple content cooking, you're after. GPT 3.5's the more budget-friendly option. Think of GPT 4 like the high roller in Vegas, costing a pretty penny. Even though OpenAI did a deep dive into user preferences, it turns out about 70% of people are digging GPT-4's vibe. But that still means a bunch of peeps are holding on to the old faithful GPT-3.5. Now, what's in the cards for the GPT fam? Well, GPT-4's making waves, teaming up with Microsoft for some serious business action. Like it's in cahoots with Bing Search, GitHub's new Copilot X, and even starting its stuff in Microsoft 365 Copilot. Plus, it can even lend a helping hand in the accessibility world with Be My Eyes. So the GPT-4 posse is gearing up to solve real world problems, which gets us pretty excited. We're even in on the action, dabbling in GPT-4 and scoping out other language wizards like Google Bard. It's a wild ride for sure, and we're buckled in for the adventure. 
What are your predictions on this futuristic AI wizard? Drop them in the comments. Until our next adventure, stay curious and see you soon.